Now she's at full gallop behind the zebra, watching those back legs, because she wants to try and time it. Watch and out. <laughs> 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 I'm OK. <laughs> right. You guys just listen now. <laughs> They time it. They actually get into the, the stride of the zebra. She and, and the zebra stride are similar lengths. So when, when the zebra throws front, she throws front. As that back kick comes through, you'll see the lioness will faint underneath it. She'll climb on top of it. She'll grab the muzzle like that, and she'll throw it. And as it hits the ground, those other six lionesses are just <laughs> into back up. And I don't know if you know, there's the zebra there that graze on the lawns. They're like... They're not tame, but they habituate the zebra. These guys had too much to drink. <laughs> and he's walking back with his buddies, and he sees the zebra. So he says, I'm going to ride the zebra back. <laughs> so his friend looks on with interest. He walks up to the zebra, he says, I didn't see this. This is what he's telling me. And he said, he nearly got on. The whole story didn't make complete sense to me, because he says it. The zebra's friend kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was a sting double, I don't know. He said he thinks this bull could weigh as much as 900 kilos. What did he say? It's 141 stone. It's difficult to get your head around that. But if we stick to rugby, that is a whole scrum. <laughs> that is eight unusually big men <laughs> in one piece. And he looks at you as though you owe him money. Across the, this deeper channel, you watch each lioness. She drops in flat. A lioness can go in like a carpet. Again, it looks like the start of the 100 meters. You see each paw searching for traction like this. It's just physically difficult to do, but. <laughs> the chest drops through the shoulder blades like this until the chest is millimeters off the soil. The, the, the neck, the neck extends, the head steadies, the eyes focus, and the lionesses start to quiver like this. You see five lionesses quivering like this, waiting to go into that hunt. They are so focused on what we would call goals that it is scary. You know, you don't find in the middle of a buffalo hunt one lioness that suddenly decides to catch war dogs around the side. <laughs> we hand out another piece of paper. We like pieces of paper. We say, please write down the goals. The goals. <laughs> another headache. <laughs> now he's got two here. Now, I freely admit, this varies dramatically from team to team. But all I can do is take an average. The average team which I've tested, 40% of that average team cannot write down the correct goal. You know what that means? Out of every 10 people, four think they're doing something else. <laughs> the world record that I ever had was eight out of 10 different goals. And the two that happened to be the same were wrong. <laughs> so now, the only two people who put any chance of cooperating are, are both war dog hunters. 
But at least I can have a nice time because they can talk about it. <laughs> you know the wrong thing. Fry split in half. Half went that side, half came on this side of the water. Ten minutes later, they killed the impala down. Not a sound, not a single sound was made. And yet they communicating perfectly. <coughs> and the difference is, is that they look to one another for communication. They don't expect to be given it all the time. You know, most organizations, this lioness would be left there saying, oh, she's very sorry, but she didn't get a memo. <laughs> <laughs> the she grabs him and she hauls him down. Now, she's in this armpit. The front legs are kicking her like this. But she's too tight. They're not damaging her. The problem turns out to be the back legs. The, the zebra does a stomach crunch, pulls its back legs round, and next thing, his hooves are coming at her head. She drops her head. She flattens her ears, she closes her eyes, she grits her teeth, and she just hangs on like this, with these hooves going <laughs> The only reason that she's prepared to hang on under those sort of circumstances is she knows that those other six lionesses are coming in hard and fast to back her up. I don't believe that it even flickers through her mind that I might not get back. If that went through her head, she wouldn't take that stallion. There is no way she would hunt buffalo. I mean, can you imagine catching a buffalo and no one comes to help you? <laughs> the thing will run away with you. It would be more like a jockey than a hunter. She has got a hundred percent trust that these lionesses are coming they're coming fast and they're potent lionesses. When those six arrive on the zebra, something's going to happen to the zebra. 